Welcome to the Harmony Farms YouTube channel where we are sharing with you our journey to pasture raising sheep for profit. Today we are going to share with you what we do to treat hoof rot in sheep on pasture with no handling equipment. Now we are small scale sheep farmers and maybe the large scale guys they would have something like a chute that they'd run the sheep through that'll flip them upside down so that they can trim the hooves or run the hoof rot treatment. We just treat this on pasture. It's not a huge problem for us. We'll have maybe two or three every year that we need to run treatments on. So we will just grab a couple people to hold the sheep steady and then one person to run the treatment, do the scrubbing and apply the medicated soak. Now the best way to know whether or not your sheep actually has hoof rot is just to watch them. If they are limping and you check the hoof and there is no evidence of a split toenail or anything like that, it's likely an infection up there in between the hooves. So that is one of the best ways to know is just to watch them. Are they limping? And if so, that's really important to check for hoof rot at that time. And another way, it's extremely gross, but actually the when the hoof rot is setting in, it is it smells bad. So basically your sheep will have stinky feet if hoof rot is present. Um, you want to watch for hoof rot when it is wet outside, so maybe during the spring or in the late fall you're going to have issues with that. So just watch your flock. If you see some limping, you might want to check their hooves for hoof rot. Um, another thing is that hoof rot is contagious, so you want to get it treated quickly so that it doesn't spread throughout the whole flock and cause not just one case of treatment, but 25, as would be in our case if we didn't get on it quickly. So the process goes like this. We will just grab the sheep. We'll typically use a feed bucket with a treat in it to draw them aside to one place. One person will hold and just a quick tip is to take the sheep apart from the rest of the flock because if you have a treat or a feed bucket, the rest of the flock will totally pile up as well. So find a private spot to treat the hoof rot and use a feed bucket to keep the animals still while you run the treatment. Then using a toothbrush and a bucket of soapy water, just run a general clean out in there between the hooves. Scrub it out, look for any debris, look for anything nasty that might be caked up in there. Run a general clean out between the hooves. Once the hoof has been scrubbed out and cleaned out, we take the hoof and we soak it in a combination of copper sulfate and water. So we do a cup and a half of copper sulfate to one gallon of water. Now this ratio, a cup and a half of copper sulfate to one gallon of water would actually treat 25 ewes. So keep that in mind. We are just treating two here, but this cup and a half to one gallon ratio would actually treat 25. Um, so just another really quick thing is that as you are using that toothbrush to clean out between the hooves, give the hooves kind of like a squish together. It'll squish out any infection, anything nasty in between there, and just kind of helps with the general cleanup process. So thankfully once we got in there, we found that these two actually did not have a hoof rot infection, but we went ahead and ran the standard hoof rot treatment anyways, which just to recap, it is grabbing the sheep, taking that hoof, rubbing the rubbing it out in the center with some soapy water and a toothbrush then giving it a soak in that copper sulfate water mixture for 30 seconds straight we might also do a little bit of hoof trimming while we're at it if we notice that the hoof is extremely long Now another method that's commonly used when treating hoof rot in sheep without a handling system is just to turn the sheep entirely over and kind of lay it against your legs with belly up essentially and that allows just one person to treat the 
hoof rot itself. So you would lay them with the back against your legs and you would just run the treatment yourself. And that also is sort of a, a way that you can trim hoofs in general. Um, but for this one in particular, we just kind of let them stand as is, eat out of the feed bucket, and just had a couple people straddle, hold them still, and then one person ran the treatment for hoof rot. So once you run the treatment, you should see pretty immediate relief of the limping. If you see your sheep is still limping after two or three days, of being treated after being treated you need to get in there and check again see if there's something else causing the trouble or if you need to maybe run another round of treatment but when you treat for hoof rot in sheep the relief should be pretty much within 24 hours I want to thank you guys so much for watching if you want more videos on our journey to pastured sheep for profit, please hit that subscribe button, give us a thumbs up, and also subscribe to our exclusive newsletter at harmonyfarms.blog.